Hello everyone, welcome back to English Valley Cafe. My name is Anne. Today in this video, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm gonna switch things up a bit and uh, I'm not gonna be talking about pronunciation, although we'll do a little bit of pronunciation in this uh, video, but um, I'm going to be answering some questions that I got from English learners, followers on English Valley Cafe Instagram page as well as Facebook page. So uh, be sure to check out English Valley Cafe um, over on Instagram and Facebook. I do uh, post a lot of contents on Instagram uh, to help you with your speaking, listening, as well as tons and tons of phrasal verb idioms, um, vocabulary expressions to help you uh, speak English more confidently, more naturally, just like a native speaker in an everyday situation in um, spoken English. So be sure to check it out. So last week I asked the English Valley Cafe community what questions they would like to ask me or what questions they have for me. So I've gotten some questions and thank you to those of you who uh, left me some questions. And some of these questions I'm gonna talk about today, I've been asked over and over again. So I'm gonna make this video and hopefully this will answer um, your question. Maybe you have this question that you've been wanting to know, so I will answer it in this video. So let's get started. The first question is, where are you from? Let's practice saying this, where are you from? Where are you from? So notice here I am connecting where are, where are you from? Where are you from? So I was born in Taiwan. Taiwan, not Thailand. A lot of people get this confused. Taiwan is an island that is south of Japan and it's a beautiful island. So I was born in Taiwan and I was raised in the United States in California. The second question is any on accent. Um, I'm not really sure what any on accent means, but I'm happy to talk about what I think about accent. Um, personally, I think that accent is beautiful. I mean, there are a lot of native speakers that speak with different accents. Some of them are regional accents. Some people speak English fluently, but they have accents maybe from their um, native language. And I think it's perfectly fine if you have accents when you're speaking English, as long as it's not um, getting in the way, meaning that it's not affecting your communication, as long as the other person understands what you are trying to uh, tell them, what you are trying to communicate with them, I think accents are perfectly fine. Now, I know that um, there are some people who are very um, self-conscious. They don't want the accent. Um, they want to speak English without accent. And I think that's perfectly fine as well. There are different ways that you can train to reduce your accent. Um, so, um, yeah, so I mean, if you ask me what I think about accent, I think accent is perfectly fine. I mean, as long as it's not affecting your uh, communication. So that's my take on accent. So the next question I got is, what are you dreaming about? Oh boy, I'm dreaming about a lot of things. But at the moment, I am dreaming about my upcoming um, break. So right now is early December and uh, we have Christmas and New Year's just around the corner just around the corner. This means that um, something like an event or something will take place um, very soon. So Christmas and New Year's is just around the corner. And so I'm planning on taking a couple of weeks off. So um, I'm just gonna be away from my computer, away from social media. And um, I hope to uh, spend some time catching up on my reading. So this is a good phrasal verb to learn, catch up. Catch up means that you have not, maybe you're behind in doing something. So I've started reading a book like a month or two ago, but I haven't finished yet. So I need to catch up. 
meaning that I am a little bit behind and I want to finish reading the book. I need to catch up on some readings. Um, and also I like to um, just spend a little bit of more time outdoors and um, go for walks um, as well as work in my garden. So I have uh, recently bought some plants that I'm wanting to um, plant them in my garden. So I should be doing that um, within two weeks or so. So I'm looking forward to my um, two weeks or three weeks break. Now I have another dream and that is to be able to offer all free English lessons. Um, actually ever since I was, I think in middle school and or in high school, I have this wish or this dream to be able to, um, you know, help as many people as I can to learn English. So that's a bigger dream that I have. But um, I hope to offer free contents, free classes to um, anybody who wants to learn English. But at the moment, unfortunately, that can't happen because I still need to pay for my bills. Um, so yeah, that's one of my bigger dreams. Okay, so these are some of the um, general questions that I got. Now I did get some questions that are more specific. Oh, this is a tough word. Let's try saying this. Specific. 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 Um, I did get some specific questions about grammar. Also um, some pronunciation questions like how to pronounce the uh, plural forms of the nouns that end in THS and also um, how if I can give some pronunciation tips um, to improve pronunciation and also work on intonation. And someone also asked about, um, you know, how I can or how can I form adjective, adverb, and noun using the different suffix. Um, so these are a little bit more specific questions and I would not be able to answer all these questions in one video. So what I've planned to do is in the next um, couple of weeks, in this coming weeks, I plan to answer these questions in separate videos. If you're not subscribed to English Valley Cafe, be sure you do that so you don't miss the video and hit that bell notification so you get notified um, every time I upload a new video. So um, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, look out for these videos in the upcoming weeks. I plan to answer all these questions. If you um, have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I will be happy to help you and answer your questions. Um, and that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned. Bye.